What is up? I am back in Alabama. Last night I walked a creek and found some crayfish, which you'll see in the next few clips. But right now I am looking for purse web spiders, which you'll see after the crayfish clips. Here's a bimaculate crayfish. And here's another species. This is either a white river cray crayfish or it's more likely a sharp nosed crayfish. But of course you have to look at gonopods to tell the difference between those two species. But pretty cool. Here's another one of these Procambaras. This one looks a little bit different, but of course it's really hard to tell what species it is. This one's a female, and that last one was a female. But there's actually three species down here that are very similar. The first two already covered the White River Crayfish, Procambarus acutus. The Sharp-Nosed Crayfish, Procambarus acutissimus. And I forgot about the, the main crayfish, Procambarus lophotus. So there's actually three species that look like this that live down here. So confusing. But still pretty cool. Well, I was actually trying to go for another fish, but this was a pleasant bycatch. This is a red spot darter. And it has lost most of its pattern, but you can still faintly see the red speckles. Here is the purse web. Is it okay to call it that? Yeah, purse web. And then when you're stuck. You're, you're good. It's gonna take some time. Sometimes you could be doing this for hours and it won't come out because it's a freaking abandoned burrow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. Let's see. Oh, there it is. So the movement just now, the spider is on the top. It's gonna be a small one, but uh, let's push it out. Come on, you have nowhere to go. See it. Look at the fangs. You don't want to get bit by one because it's going to hurt. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Yep. This one's a very small juvenile. Look at that. So cute. Did they, how, how big do they normally get? About this big. Oh wow. Yeah. The males are smaller, but um, the females can get pretty big. They take forever to grow.
Okay, this one's not that big. I wish we could find an adult female, but that's gotta be even more difficult. <laughs> the the burrows are about this wide. Mm. Usually they're about this long, on average. All right, go back, go back. Oof. I don't want it to wander off too far from its burrows because um, they can reuse their. Lives. Here is the complete crayfish, Faxanius perfectus. A very beautiful Hesperica baris. And it is also a form one male, which is pretty sweet. And here is the Lagniope crayfish, Procambarus Lagniope, which is a cool panites that is found in West Alabama and East Mississippi, in the, some drainages of the Tembigbee River. And this is a Form 1 male. And just look at those very long slender claws. A lot more slender than white tubercle crayfish. But yeah, really cool find. This is actually a lifer for me, so that's always cool. So here's a few other of the finds from today. Here is a female Lignaiope crayfish. Here is an unknown Fexanius. Um, there's another one. And a, that little one is also the same species, but that is probably Fexanius jonesi, but there's really no way to be certain. We didn't find a form one male. Um, here's some juvenile Lignaiope. And this one is actually a juvenile Pinelands crayfish, Procambarus vioscae, vioscae. Um, 
that's the biggest one that we've seen at this spot um, so we're not gonna bother with photos um, I have found this in Mississippi so I've already got photos from my life list so I'm just gonna let these guys go I found this guy and I saw it over the bridge. Here's a red swamp crayfish. Prokinbaris clarkii. And here are shrimp crayfish, Phaxonius lancifer. And you can tell this species from other Phaxonias is because they are the only species that have their acumen uh, longer than the rest of their rostrum. <laughs> 